Wasn't that lovely? And now we will present the beautiful Boo Danube. <laughs> Maybe I can get some sweet. Tra la 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 Some Sunday morning is going to be Some Sunday morning for someone and me That'll keep you quiet <coughs> Bells will be chiming an old melody Especially for someone Hello And me What are you doing? Taking pictures? Nice hobby. Mind if I watch? Uh, what are you taking pictures of? That wabbit. What rabbit? That would do quay wabbit over, 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 over there. Please, sir. Gosh, I don't even know the guy. Thank you. 
Now, uh, would you like to continue? Um, well, uh, I... That's the spirit! And for being such a good sport, I'm going to give you a crack at the Super Deluxe Jackpot question. Are you ready? Now, think carefully now. Here's the question. Who, mind you, who was the referee in the New Zealand Heavyweight Championship fight in 1726? Uh, Arbuckle Dream. No coaching, please! What was his second grade teacher's name? You're so smart. Uh, Abigail Twitch. This program's brought to you by the Eagle Hand Laundry. Does your eagle have dirty mitts? Uh, pardon me, but may I have my jackpot? Mm. Oh, well. Fair is fair. Here's your pot, Jack. Uh, but, but my name isn't Jack. It's not? Oh, I'm sorry. This pot was made for Jack. Jackpot. Get it? Your name isn't Jack, so you must pay the penalty. In my hand, you'll notice I hold two buzzers. You must push one. Hurry now. Which one? Quick. God clean, wholesome fun. were rough and tough, but I didn't think that he could... He didn't. I just lost my footing. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I tripped. Oh, thank goodness, Father. I wouldn't want to think... Don't give it another thought. I'll take that little squab apart at the seams. There goes the courageous pussycat. I guess. <laughs> a bird's nest by a little tiny helpless bird. Oh, the shame of it. Oh, look, son, he's little and he's tiny, but he's about as helpless as a covey of wildcats. Yes! Huh? But, son... No, no, don't let him get me! Don't let him get me! Father, I wonder where the yellow went. 
Well, father, there's your covey of wildcats. A little birdie, are you as ferocious as a covey of wildcats? Nope. Are you ready, eager young space cadet? I'm all set, your hero ship, sir. Then make way for Duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century! Oops! <laughs> Had the silly thing in reverse. And now then, eager young space cadet, here is the course we shall pursue to find Planet X. Starting from where we are, we go 33,600 turbo miles due up. Then west in an astro arc deviation to here. Then following the great circle, seven radio lubes south by down east. By astro astrobo to here, here, and here. Then by space navigo compass to here, here, and then to here, and here. By 13 point strato cumulus bearing four million light years, and thus to our destination. Now do you know how to reach planet X? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, sure. Well, I wish you'd explain it to me sometime, Buster. Uh, well, we, uh, well, it's very simple, sir. If we follow uh, the, uh, those planets, we can't very well miss Planet X. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> of all the stupid suggestions. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I think I've got it. I'll just bet that if we follow those planets, we'll find Planet X. Chad, how do I do it? I uh, don't know. Now, maybe I can get something accomplished. punished enough. <laughs> My, what a long face. Well, I know just the thing for that. Here. Well, come on, come on, take it. Mark Anthony, will you calm down? You can keep that dear little kitten if you want to. But remember, you've got to take care of him. Lower away. Bon voyage. Thank you. Psychological wearing down process. Clever, clever indeed. Oh, you are the clever one. You see, he's back and looking a bit frazzled, I'd say. Definitely, but definitely. <sighs> he's all set for phase two. Oh, this should be a Lulu. <laughs> Oh. 